Hi guys, Ian from footballboots.co.uk here. Today we're taking a look at the Nike Hypervenom Finish. This is the latest boot to drop from Nike. These are the equivalent of the old original Hypervenom Phantoms. Now you've got the new Phantom with a sock, I'm sure you've seen that. But today I've got Luke here with me. He's gonna come and give us a test of these. Stay tuned. Okay, so the finish, as I was saying before, they're like the little brother to the Phantom. You've got to think about the Vapors to the Superflies or the Opus to the Obra. So featuring a new night skin material and this no tongue design, you're going to experience a bit more stiffness right out of the box. This stiffer feel is going to mean that you're going to get the more durable upper. Putting the finished silos on, you'll notice that there's a bit of difficulty getting past this tongue because it merges with the upper for this sock-like feel. It's the same no-tongue system that you'll see on the Vapor 10. True to size is the way to go with the finished boots, while the boot is wide enough to fit the widest of feet. Overall, comfort levels are high with the finish, and the main difference is the softness and the stiffness of the upper compared to the first generation Hypervenoms. So with the night skin upper being much stiffer, you're gonna to need to break in these boots with a bit more care and time compared to the first generation Hypervenoms. Over time, the finish should mold to your feet, resulting in a comfortable boot. Launched as part of Nike's Wolf Grey Pack, not surprisingly, you've got this grey all the way over the upper. Total orange on the Nike swooshes. Same as the original Hypervenom launch, you've got the two uh, swooshes that have been seen here. So there's one on the heel here and the one on the front. The other thing they've thrown onto these is this geometric design with the black and the total orange. It's what you see on the launch Hypervenom Phantom 2s as well. They match up exactly the same. Overall, actually, it's a pretty good looking design. If you like the gray, a few flashes of color as well. It's interesting they've used the same orange that they used when they launched the original Hypervenoms. Overall, good looking boot. So with the stiffer upper and the fly wire and the no-tongue system, the finish is going to take a bit of time to get used to. The quality of this synthetic material is very high and it will loosen up the longer you wear them. The upper material itself is still very thin. It's going to bring your foot closer to the ball. The no-tongue and the fly wire system locks your foot into place and it means that you're probably going to get even better acceleration and that quicker lockdown than even on the original Hypervenoms. So unlike the rubbery feel on the first generation Phantoms, this finish has more of a matte finish to the upper. It's going to give you extra friction between the boot and ball. These additional grooves and lines have been added for that extra friction to the forefoot and midfoot and replaces the kind of honeycomb that they used on the original generation. So using the same nylon chassis that you'll recognize from the original Hypervenom Phantom generation, this finish is just using exactly the same thing on the sole here. And it's a good decision. It worked really well on firm grounds for the original boot and it's going to work great for you here too. It's going to provide really good traction, acceleration and agility on the surfaces that it's designed for. And on the soft ground version, you'll find the metal tip studs used in other places. And that works great on that version too. It's going to give you kind of a little bit stiff to start off with, but it's going to loosen up and it's going to flex pretty much the moment you put them on and it starts to feel good really quickly. Considering the thickness of the upper, protection in this boot isn't necessarily ideal. You're not going to want to feel a stud on the top here because it is a pretty thin upper, but then that's not something unusual for boots nowadays, so something that you have to get used to. Durability wise though, they've made a huge enhancement everybody well not everybody but most people knew that there were some issues with kind of ripping and the upper on the original hypervenoms and this upper is just that little bit better it's going to be tougher it's going to 
mean that there's less chance of soul separation, less chance of rips. And it's just, they've, they've gone ahead, they've learned lessons from the originals and they've made this a tougher boot that's gonna last you. So the verdict on these, they've been inspired by the originals and there's lots of little touches that remind you of the originals. They've also changed a lot of things. If you've ever tried the Vapor 10s, then you're kind of thinking maybe they've kind of merged the Vapor 10 with the old Phantom a little bit. Some of you might find that a bit of a shame. Some people might not like this whole kind of seamless tongue that goes in. It's kind of this little flappy bit here, which is a bit annoying and just a few things that might put you off and might have you leaning towards choosing a different boot, even if you really enjoyed the original Phantoms, but there's all a lot of, also a lot of good things with these too. So they've increased the durability of the upper, good thing. Now with the Flywire, it's given this new like lockdown fit. That's gonna be really good for those quick turns and all that kind of thing that Hypervenoms are supposed to be about, which is agility and giving all these good things. So they're definitely a combination of a lot of Nike technologies that have been put together. Whether you like them or not, might be a case of trying them on. It's definitely a new thing to put these on compared to wearing the original Hypervenom Phantoms. They do feel different. I would suggest you try them on before you decide to buy them, but they are a very good boot. They are gonna last a long time, and a lot of you are gonna like them. All right, that's it for the review. Thanks for watching the review, the finish. Thanks for Luke for testing them. Let us know what you think in the comments, guys. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Got lots more reviews, unboxing competitions. Hopefully you're taking part in our latest competition. Hashtag test request, take part. All right, guys. We've had a lot of fun with these. We're going to have some more fun. Enjoy your football.